Hello, everyone. Scott Simmel Bell coming to you live from Oahu. It is April 26, 2015, 441 in the afternoon. And I want to share something with you that will really help you out. And, you know, I, I get the chance to work with a lot of entrepreneurs and some top-notch people and some names that I would love to drop, but I'm going to leave them out of this. So here's the thing. One of the, one of the best lessons that I've learned from people who have, like, a high net worth or are really good at what they do, they have the ability to tell people no. And you're thinking, Scott, but what happens if I tell somebody no, they're not going to like me? Well, the way that you have to look at it is that you have time allotted to do your projects and, and your ideas and your service and you have have the ability to, to get things done. And every time that somebody asks you to do something, you have to look at it like it's a disruption. You have to think, is this person disrupting me? Are they going to cause me problems? And, and a lot of times people don't expect you to drop what you're doing to help them. And some people do, but you have to break them of that habit of saying, hey, I'm going to interrupt Scott and here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him help me out. And a lot of times you have to coach people into to not doing things that are silly, like interrupting what you do. Now, here's the thing. When I come out here and I shoot videos, most of the time I, sh I shut my phone off because I look at it this way. Anywhere that I'm at right now, nobody can get a hold of me anyway, so whatever the emergency is, I really can't fix it, okay? Somebody leaves me a message or texts me or sends me some sort of messaging, I'm going to get back to them, but it's not going to be an immediate thing. And then there's, there's going to be times where people say, hey, I need you to do something, and I'm going to say, you got to understand, here's what my schedule looks like. I can't get to that until 10 days out. And they're like, but I need it done now. And I'm like, hey, I've already got stuff planned. If you want me to bump that, you can pay me and I'll move that stuff around. But if you want me to get this done now, look, you understand that you didn't plan for this emergency. It's going to cost you to get it done. And like a lot of people are going to understand that concept that like, hey, I got I to gotta pay to play, right? Now, sometimes, you know, that happens with scope creep where someone's like, well, I want to get this done. You're like, I didn't allot for that. That wasn't in the scope of work that we had done. So being able to tell people no is really going to help you out. And one of the easiest ways to deal with this is the phrase, I wish. I wish I could. So if like you have a tough time telling somebody no, the best phrase to use is, I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could, but, but the but means, hey, there's something else coming along. So your ability to tell people no is really going to help you out over time and get you better at what you do, okay? So you can tell people no. Somebody calls you up and says, hey, I need you to work on this project. Right? If they're not your direct boss or they're, they're like calling to help out, they're going to understand that they're going to have to get put on the back burner unless they want to pay you money. And this is like the international sign for money, right? Money. This is the international sign for lots of money. So this is the international sign for pay me too, okay? Just so you know. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Hey, I forgot to tell you, I'm at Chun's Reef. It's a pretty cool place. Scott Silvan Bell. Only Scott Bell. Silvan Bell. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.